Saving faith produces good works. Remember the scriptures say, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. What doth it profit? James 2 verses 14 through 18. What good is it, my brothers, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds, can such faith save him? Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you tells him, go in peace, stay warm and well fed, but does not provide for his physical needs, what good is that? So to faith by itself, if it does not result in action, it is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. For it is Elohim that worketh in you, Philippians 2.13. For it is Elohim who works in you to will and to act on behalf of his good purpose. These things I will that thou confirm, Titus 3, 8, verse 8. This saying is trustworthy, and I want you to emphasize these things, so that those who have believed Elohim will take care to devote themselves to good deeds. These things are excellent and profitable for the people. Remember, everyone should give account. So then, Romans 14, verse 12, each of us will give an account of himself to Elohim. It is appointed unto men once to die. Hebrews 9, verses 27 through 28. Just as man is appointed to die once and after that to face judgment, so also Messiah was offered once to bear the sins of many. And he will appear a second time not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. Choose you this day. Don't say I'll wait until tomorrow, next week. Choose you this day. Joshua 24, verse 15. But if it is unpleasing in your sight to serve Yahuwah, then choose for yourself this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your father served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. As for me and my house, we will serve Yahuwah. I do pray that you have chosen Yahuwah, Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that you would choose him this day, and that you would follow the spirit of truth that would help you with everything in your life. And that this God is a provider of everything that you need. In addition, he gives you eternal life. You will be able to spend eternity with the creator of heaven, earth, and the sea. The one that said in Genesis, light be. And light showed up. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would anoint this individual or person to choose you this day and to believe that your Messiah died for our sins and that if we confess them, then they are forgiven. And we will end up on that ancient path of truth, that narrow straight way 
that let the world know that we belong to you by the light and the words of our mouth that is heard. Help us all with the Great Commission to reach one another with preaching, teaching, and with our testimonies and the sharing and confessing you before the people. I also ask that you send your word into not only the person's mind, but into their family as well. I do pray for house, whole faith of believing, and choose the one creator of heaven, earth, and the sea to serve. Hallelujah. Baruch Hashem.